a European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus. Invest with confidence. Welcome to the FinancialMirror.tv Cyprus Report, sponsored by the Cyprus Investment Promotion Agency. Cyprus remains the biggest foreign investor in Ukraine, with total investments of $8.1 billion as at the end of June 2009, accounting for nearly 27% of total investments by EU countries in the Ukraine, according to the country's statistical service. Germany follows in second place with total investments of $6.5 billion or 21.8% of total EU investments in Ukraine, with Holland in third with $3.7 billion and Austria with $2.5 billion. The UK is next with total investments of $2.3 billion, according to an analysis of the report made by the Financial Mirror. The bulk of the EU investments in Ukraine were in manufacturing, with an emphasis in the foodstuffs, drinks, tobacco and metal sectors. The Cyprus government is about to announce some improvements to its current tax regime for the shipping sector in an effort to maintain business here and to attract new companies to the Cyprus flag. The revised tax law will be submitted by the end of this month and is expected to have EU approval before the end of the year. Cyprus's maritime policy is based on three main pillars – quality, reliability and competitiveness, with the quality and safety of the Cyprus fleet, as well as the protection of the marine environment, being of paramount importance for the Cyprus government. Thomas Kazagos, Director General of the Cyprus Shipping Chamber, which celebrates its 20th anniversary this year, said that the aim of the new tax revision is to upgrade the whole shipping industry, clearly defined by the three sectors of ship owning, ship management and chartering especially as the majority of companies in Cyprus opt for the benchmark tonnage tax. In another encouraging development, Cyprus's second largest lender, Marfin Popular Bank, has decided to keep its legal base in Cyprus, with the board of directors deciding to give the green light for the Cyprus Bank to absorb the operations of Marfin Ignatia Bank in Greece. Marfin Popular Bank's management believes that the reaction which followed its initial decision to shift the legal base to Greece revealed the need for constructive dialogue to enhance the institutional and regulatory framework of the Cypriot financial services, as well as to abolish dysfunctions that act as barriers to entrepreneurship and attracting foreign investments to Cyprus. Executive Vice Chairman Andreas Genobulos confirmed that he has had two meetings with Central Bank Governor Athanasios Afanidis during the past month, where many issues have been raised in a productive way. In another development, Marfin Popular Bank announced the successful completion of the issue of a 500 million euro three-year senior debt under the Euro Medium Term Note Programme for the drawdown of medium term capital. An important aspect of the issue was that the total demand for the issue was 1.3 times oversubscribed, reaching 650 million euro. International institutional investors took up about 50% of the issue. The current issue, which will further strengthen the bank's capital base, is the first of its kind by a Cyprus bank after the recent world financial crisis. The new three-year senior debt has a fixed interest of 4.375% and will be listed on the Luxembourg Stock Exchange. The joint book runners of the issue were BMP Paribas, DZ Bank, Lloyd's TSB, Morgan Stanley and Unicredit. In another positive development, the project for the redevelopment of the marina and port of Larnaca, estimated to cost about 1 billion euros, will officially get underway, with Communications and Works Minister Nikos Nikolaidis saying that the commencement of the negotiations will begin with the successful bidder, A. Vudos Consortium. The private-public partnership foresees a build-operate transfer project that will be managed by the consortium for 35 years following an investment of 1 billion euros in port and marina facilities, as well as a waterfront development including hotels, residential units and leisure projects. The winning consortium comprises A. Vuros Investments Limited, Singapore Cruise Centre PTE Limited, DP Architects PTE Limited, Ioannou Pareskvaidis Limited, JP AVAX SA, Ioannou Paraskvaidis Overseas, Ariadne Australia Limited, and Cybarco PLC. After its conclusion, the marina will have a capacity for 1,000 boats, while the port will become the main passenger terminal in Cyprus. Throughout the duration of the BOT development, the state will receive 7% of all revenues, which is estimated at over 100 million euros for 35 years. 
The state budget for 2010 aims to minimize the consequences of the global financial crisis, avoiding excessive public deficits, strengthening the constructive sectors of the economy, and enhancing social cohesion. But it also expects to see the public deficit rise to 4.5%. The draft budget provides for revenue excluding loans of 5.8 billion euros, with the revenue growth rate for 2010 estimated at 7.9%. Total expenditure excluding loan payments is calculated at 7.9 billion euros, compared to 7.6 billion euros in 2009. The increase of the estimated expenditure for 2010 compared to 2009 is restricted to 3%, compared to 17.7% during the previous year. Finance Minister Stavragis said the growth rate is expected to reach 0.5% in 2010, inflation at 2.5%, unemployment at 6.5% in 2010, and the current account deficit at 8%. Thanks for watching FinancialMirror.tv. A European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus has a transparent and robust economy, well-educated professionals, attractive taxation and growth potential in several sectors. Cyprus. Invest with confidence.